Let's get in the highlight, shall we? So this week, I have ordered a lot of equipment that I'm gonna be needing, and it has to do with my knitwear. So for the next six months, all I'm gonna be focusing on is knitwear design. I'm needing some supplies, and I'll post a picture up of them later. Also, what I've used in sewing, which I know sewing is different than knitwear <laughs> design, I've learned that. But um, something that I've used that's helped me in my projects is a dress form. And this is a custom and it's very budget friendly and it's a pattern. And so I took mine apart because I've lost weight and I thought, oh, I can recycle the fabric since I've lost weight and it didn't work. So I had to cut out a completely new pattern this week for my dress form and I went ahead and got the pattern for arms as well. So I did that and I also started sewing the arms, which I'll put a picture up of that as well. Since I am new to knitwear design, not knitting, but new to knitwear design, I've been learning anything and everything I possibly can. And one of the books that has proved very beneficial for me right now is Sweater Design in Plain English. And I love the author's perspective because she comes at knitwear design from the perspective of someone who has sewn before, and that's me. And what I realized with her book is that number one, I don't need to focus on seam allowance, and number two, I'm not gonna have to be so concerned with adding extra ease because knitwear design or knit wear garments have more stretch. And so <laughs> that's, a game changer it's very um encouraging i crocheted a dress with the mind of a sewer and i wondered why my dress kept sinking and sinking and sinking and sinking <laughs> and i created the crochet uh, dress as a sewer it talks about how to design for different body shapes and so yeah i'm having a blast so this week highlights have been my equipment i got a yarn meter a ball winder and a swift i think it's called <laughs> i don't even use this equipment i just typically i've gone to the store and i've gotten skeins of yarn so i d haven't had to um wind it or do anything so this stuff even this vocabulary even though i've uh, crocheted since I was a kid. Some of this stuff is new to me. Some of this equipment is new to me. I also tore down my old dress form from Bootstrap Fashion. That's where I got the pattern from. No affiliation, by the way. I'm just saying that's what I used. And then I realized quickly that I could not use that for my new pattern that I made. And so I cut out the fabric and it's over here. I'll probably be working on that this week and I have started already sewing the arms together. My design process, I'm still figuring out. I was sponsored by a yarn company, which I'll speak more about that in a later video, but I ordered my yarn online and I have not been able to actually feel it, knit with it yet, and so typically I would make a design and then try to find the yarn that goes with my design, but since I have not dealt with these yarns yet. I have a tentative idea based on the weights, but I'm really gonna be relying on my swatches to see how these yarns behave before I finalize my pattern ideas. So I do have pattern ideas, but they're not set in stone because I might knit up a swatch and realize, hey, this wants to do something completely different. So those are just a few highlights from this week. This next coming week, I'm gonna be working on sewing up my dress form. I'm going to be researching more about knitwear design and actually more about production as well because I'm also trying to make these videos look professional. <laughs> so that's what's happened this week and later I'll be posting a video of myself unboxing the equipment that I got and when I get my yarn, I'll be unboxing that as well. So have a great week, everyone, and thanks for stopping by.